later than her mother's love for her child. I used to think that I was scared of being with the wrong person. But now I realize that I'm scared of being with the right person. We can afford to be who we are. Like, I'm English. Yeah, you can I'm an English yeah. Pakistani, I'm Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't have to conform to any rules. No. Mm. Like, like mm. I'm, I'm here to break the rules. Mm. And <laughs> he is. <laughs> What's your education, bro? He's a doctor. Oof, no, he's at the top of the food chain. Hi everyone, it's Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. Thank you for joining us, it's great to have your company. We're going to be talking about the rom-com film, What's Love Got To Do With It? It comes out in the UK very shortly. It's written by Jemima Khan. Yes, that Jemima Khan, who was married to Imran Khan, and it's directed by Shekhar Kapoor. Yes, yeah, Shekhar Kapoor, who did Elizabeth. So let's find out more. Thinking with your lulu, you need to be thinking with your lulu, okay? I'm with brilliant, amazing, Nitin Sawney and Naughty Boy. Welcome to AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? Very good. We're both yes. excellent. Thank um, you. So tell us, how did you come to be involved in making the music for this film? I was actually originally, I met Naughty Boy with Shekhar. Both of them came around to my studio in Brixton and asked me if I wanted to get involved. And, and it was great because actually the first thing that we did was we came up with a song that is the is the kind of, I, say, I call it the touchstone of the film because yes. it actually defined a lot about the vocabulary, you know, getting the great Rahat Fatih Ali Khan on there and mm. to also have, and now in the latest iteration of it, we've got um, Lily James on there, who's, who's obviously the lead character. Lead character. And also Kanika Kapoor and yeah. Yeah. Billy Khan and... Um, How? I mean, it's an amazing array of very talented, yeah. well-established yeah. musicians. And Joy Crooks has done a, a the, she's yes, on a remix yes, of it as well, yes. and she's fantastic. I mean, I don't usually even notice the music with a lot of films, but mm. this was so good wow. that I even mentioned it in the review because, wow. uh, you know, you, I think is there no album coming from this music? Yeah, it'll be a soundtrack album. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yes. I think there there are conversations uh, right now going on, <laughs> so it's coming out. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a, a, a big release with uh, with the film as well. So yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. We're excited about. But it. tell me about the creative process. How do you guys, you know, how do you come up with a song? How do you come up with a touchstone track? How does that work? Yeah, you... I think with this film, hmm. it was it was different hmm. in terms of how we. Um, started the process hmm. because it's the first film I've done added okay. music to as in Nitin's obviously yeah. a, a living legend who's done yeah. music for films before yeah. so when Jemima first called me my immediate so thing, you knew Jemima then you had some oh, oh, we were friends as in yeah. um, Kate Wolfchild is um, related to Jemima and so we'd been out a few times um, but when when she sent the script like I was like, oh shit! I've never done that like, film music. Let me call Nitin. Yeah, and it was it was actually, <laughs> but it was actually very uh, it was very easy for us to get on because we knew each other anyway. Yeah. Yes. And also, I think you know everyone involved in this film is is very giving, very generous, yes. very sharing. You know, it's a collaborative process. Everything I think you know people were supportive of each other, Sheka and Jemima and. I think, um, and then there's also Nick Angel, who should get mentioned because mm. he's a music supervisor. Yes. Um, and there was a lot of, you know, there was a lot of talk about how to build a vocabulary and a language for the music of the film. But I think, you know, the reason I talk about the song that we did first yeah. is because actually it helped to define a lot of the language of the entire film. Yes. And, and I think once that was clear, the rest of the score was not so difficult because, you know, you already have um, something which kind of really speaks to um, the different aspects of our context and heritage in the mm. same way that we live our lives. Mm. And I think, you know, that's, that's the case with all of the music, but I think it started with finding a track that kind of was something we could both be into and yes. that we felt represented us as much as the film. And we, we couldn't have got to that point without the, the essence of the film, which started with Jemima and Shekhar, as in, we were given a story yeah. that, you know, that before the music, like as in... It so was, does it, a sound come from the script or do you have something in mind when you're looking at a script like that? I think it comes from, it comes from the conversations and yes. it comes from, 
connections yes. and it comes from understanding characterization and the psychology of everyone involved including both behind and in front, yeah, front of the camera so it's kind of you know because you're dealing with the psychology mm. of the of the vision yeah. that both Jemima and Shekhar had but you're also dealing with the psychology of the um, coming together of two cultures yes. with a protagonist mm. so there's a lot of different um, participants in the mm. narrative of yes. how the story developed not just the actual story of the film but also the story of how um, the music and the process came yeah, together yes. there, there's no right or wrong answer no. in the film in the music like we can afford to be who we are like I'm English yeah, you can I'm English yeah. Pakistani I'm Muslim yeah. Yeah. like I don't have to conform to any rules. No. Mm. Right? Like mm. I'm, I'm here to break the rules. Mm. And <laughs> he <I'm>, is. <laughs> no, but we both are. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's one of the great, great thing is that even within the con the context of all, all, of the the music, is the range that you have that you go from a very kind of popular sound to Cavalli. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a process involved in scoring any film, which is actually about sitting down, spotting it with the, the director, with the writer, with mm. the producers, with everyone, because there are everyone, as Naughty Boy said earlier, has an opinion. Mm. And I think, you know, from that point of view, it's something that is that, that evolves and grows. Mm. Some Sometimes you'll work with the director and they have a very strong vision and that is the vision that you serve. In this case, Shaker has that, but there are also other people involved in how that grew and evolved. And I think it was about really listening to every voice and then I trying really, to find I really, a vocabulary. Sorry, sorry. I really, yeah. really hope that every film director I work with going forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, you like, want to go in. I know, I'm, definitely. This is my yeah. first step. But right. if everyone's like has an ounce, an inch of Shaker, mm. like, oh, yeah, this, this is going to be the best like journey of my life. Right. right, but I've got mm. feeling that every film director isn't like Shikhar, mm. but right. he's very special. The well, thing you, about yeah. him, he was one of my favourite directors ever because I love Bandit Queen, I yeah. love Elizabeth and Elizabeth the Golden Age. These are incredible, mm. iconic films, yeah. and you know, from from the point of view of working with, I, I remember years ago somebody said to me who'd be the director you'd most want to work with. Mm. I said it was Shikhar Kapoor, wow. and like, um, and I've worked with a lot of amazing directors, yeah. but he's very special in that he's erudite but he's also got us he's got a really kind of down to a street vibe mm. to him as well yes. he's somebody who who can who can just jump into different ways of thinking very easily he's a poet he's a mm. brilliant poet actually um, but he's also very he's very funny you know so he's got so many things that and all of that worked its way into the to the beautiful yes. script that that Jemima had written yes. but I think you know it's also given it's it's also brought to life a lot by the work of Shekhar as well yeah. I know I was just going to add to what yeah. Newton just said beautifully um when we wrapped up filming um me and Shekhar were walking out of the studio and he said I'm just a gardener and then I didn't get it then but a real gardener has the patience to plant seeds, but also wait for them to grow. Uh -huh. So I've learned a lot from Shekhar. Mm -hmm. like, like, in a way, we're gardeners. Mm -hmm. no, but it's based on like, what kind of music you want to make, yeah. or how you want to deliver your music. Like, but patience and honesty goes a long way. Okay, you're both very successful, well-established. Oh, what you. would you have said to your younger self in the way that some people are now starting out and wondering whether they're ever going to be Nathan Sawney or, or Naughty Boy. What would you have said to your younger self that would help you on that journey to where you are? I, I would say always be true to yourself and your own identity and your own intuition. Train and trust your intuition to the point where you mm -hmm. feel that it can take you to the place you want to be. And, and I think the thing is, what I mean by train your intuition, learn the techniques, understand what music is and the language of it. Mm. But ultimately, it's all about training what your feeling is, your intuition. And intuition, as I'm saying, is a way to connect with the, the universal spirit. And from that point of view, you know, it's a very pure thing. The only thing I would tell him is carry on. Right. I wouldn't tell him to change anything. Well, yeah, it's a good because thing. Because yeah. everything that happened to him yeah. had to happen in right. order to get here yeah. in this point. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah.
And you two working together, do you think? You're... Oh no, it's a, it's a marriage. It, it, it's not arranged. It's not arranged. It's That's a, a deranged marriage. It's a deranged marriage. <laughs> yeah. No, but honestly, like I hope to work with Nitin yeah. for the rest of my life. Like, yeah. yeah. And I hope he wants to. But this this first experience of working together yeah. on something that's so important to Jemima and Shekhar as well. Like this is this is a passion project. Yeah. Like, cool. It's called What's Love Got to Do yeah. with It, but. It's such a passion project. That I mean, we get on very well. We yeah, we actually yeah, we yeah, actually yeah. understand Another each cast. other well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking me out, yeah. now, man. Why should people watch What's Love Got to Do? Not just because of the music, but also because of the music. I think they should watch What's Love Got to Do with It because we're the same. Like everyone's the same, and every mother wants the same thing for their child. Like they do it in different ways. Like we might look different, but the love is the same, the intention is the same. And I would say that uh, at a time when the world is dehumanising differences, this is a film that humanises differences in a way that makes us more able to understand and appreciate each other. Yes, oh, that's fantastic. MashaAllah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. How do you feel about possibly moving to London? She's fine with it. It's a very multicultural place. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>